Good evening. I've got old violin number 172. This is an old uh, European violin. Uh, I believe it's German and it's an old conservatory, probably a Strad model. Um, but this was an old, I th think this violin is from around 1900, maybe even a little prior. But this is one of the early conservatory violins. It's kind of a plain Jane violin with dark varnish and uh, this particular model had painted on purfling, which a lot of times indicates a student violin of that time period. And uh, this probably was a student violin. However, I took the time and effort to revoice this to my recipe. And believe it or not, this violin sounds as good as anything that, uh, that I've done in a while. And I really love the tone of it. I actually like the dark finish on it. Um, it's got helicord medium strings, new pegs. Uh, the fingerboard has been plain. It has a new nut. Um, it kind of a, a little bit flatter than I normally do for myself bridge, but for an old time player, that's you know probably would be um, just about right for them. Whitner uh, tailpiece. Anyway, this violin really, really has a beautiful tone. It's got a lot of power and it's super clean sounding um, and rich and uh, clear and it's got a lot of depth but it's not um, boxy in any way or it doesn't have a wolfy sound it's very clean and clear and I think part of that is because the ribs on this violin were a little heavier and I did take them down a little bit when I revoiced it but um, you know with the extra mass on this violin it just gave it a nice clean sound I love the way it sounds um, let me let you hear it It's super easy to play too, um, which again, it, the, the whole violin, the acoustical properties of it are, uh, are working together well, so I like it. You can play uh, Amazing Grace or something, single notes where you might can hear the, the color of the tone. <laughs> this right here and I'm being honest I'm talking about well-known makers in this you know American violins modern violins uh, but again the woods a hundred years old and when I applied my recipe to it um, you know it's got good dry tone wood it's gonna have you know good resonance and it's got a lot of volume too but it's good volume it's not um, a hard sound it's a very fills up the room with beautiful beautiful overtones so I really like this fiddle and I'm not talking it up more than what it is it's just an old conservatory violin um, that's been revoiced to a good recipe and it and it sounds excellent um, so this would be 
this would be a good violin for someone to have, you know, that maybe has a really high-end instrument and doesn't like to play outside with it and, and inclement weather and whatnot. Um, and you could take this one and play it and still have a really good fiddle to play. So someone that, that might be looking for a second instrument, you know, just to, to play outside and play at festivals and whatnot, this might be a really good example for that because it is a great sounding instrument. It's just uh, sound I don't want it to sound better now and then you get it and it sounds like a dud um, it's actually a really good sounding old fiddle it has a nice flat arching on the top which gives it that um, which I believe gives it a good amount of um, carrying power and some volume like I said there's different opinions on that but it seems to me that a fiddle with a nice flat top like that and it actually has kind of a flatter back too um, lends itself to pretty good power. Now we'll tell you that the back of this violin was about six millimeters thick, which for you violin <clears throat> gurus out there, you know that a good thick back graduated properly around the edges and whatnot will produce a nice clear um, power.
powerful tone them generally. If you, a lot of your French violins will have a little bit thinner back normally and sometimes those instruments will lack a little bit of carrying power but um, this one is a, is a good acoustical example. I would call this violin, uh, it's a conservatory instrument but in my opinion I've always think of funny names for these old fiddles but this is a Volkswagen with a Chevy 454 high performance motor in it and that's what this uh, this is like the kid in school that had uh, you know an old Nova and uh, had a six cylinder and his grandmother gave it to him and then he spends all his money on putting a 454 high performance motor in it and makes a drag racer out of it so that's what this instrument is it's a nice old clean instrument has a good look and it performs awesome so I'm going to sell this, you know, pretty reasonable. So if, if someone needs a second fiddle or even a really good playing instrument, this is would be one to worthwhile. I'll send it to you, play it for a few days, and see if you like it. And um, again, it, I, I really like this old fiddle. I would play it. I'd play it on stage and be proud, proud of it. But thank you for watching.